Hey guys, I've got something a little bit different for you today. I'm going to be talking through recovery or cool down techniques with these fantastic tools from Pulse Roll. Now, before I start, I just wanted to introduce myself, if you haven't met me before. My name is Kim Saha. I'm predominantly a sports physiotherapist. I travel internationally um, with British Athletics, um, but I also work for myself here at home um, in a clinic room at the front of the house. So for those of you who join me regularly, this is the opposite view in my kitchen. So Pulse Roll very kindly has sent me this fantastic new tool um with my name on it how exciting is that um, just in time for christmas so there are many of these out on the market um, massage guns or percussion guns um, this is the mini one so this is one that you can take in your bag you can travel with um, and that kind of thing so it comes with various different heads um, that are slightly different sizes um, so I'm going to show you some of the areas of the body that it's very important to use recovery techniques on. So this is going to be something that is very exciting for me to suggest to people. There are many people out there that train at the same level as elite athletes. Elite athletes get massage on a regular basis three times a week. Not all of us have the time or the finances to be able to do that, but something like this you can do the work on yourself in pretty much all of the areas that you're going to need it. Delayed onset muscle soreness is very important, so that we call it DOMS in the industry. So um, DOMS is something that happens when you do something novel, you start something new, you start off a new exercise regime, which to be honest, we all do. Um, and sometimes even just a few weeks off or a few months off um, with all of these horrible lockdowns that we've had. Um, and then starting back, you're going to get that horrible soreness that takes you out of action for a couple of days. Now, that's one of the things that can stop people when they start a new exercise regime. It will stop them in their tracks and they will not carry on. Now we want consistency. Consistency is key. So something like this is really important to use as a cool down or recovery session straight after your hard workout. So I'm going to use this and show you how to do it. Now, one fantastic thing about the pulse roll um, massage gun or percussion gun is how quiet it is. So you're going to be able to hear that on today's video, that it is particularly quiet. It is very light and you've seen me throwing it around just now. Um, it's particularly light in your hand, especially the mini. Um, so I'm going to switch it on. Let's hold for two seconds on the bottom to switch it on. Okay, now I'm going to have it on the first setting because I always like to start on the first one. Um, so if we're going to think about the quads, the most important thing is to get your legs relaxed. And that's one reason I wanted to show you on the sofa here. Um, and you need to have your muscles relaxed to start with. So I would work up in sections. You don't need to press hard on them. Now what this is doing, the vibration um, is causing micro contraction through the muscle. Now this is a proven phenomenon. Um, and this will increase the blood flow to the air. So moving up and down. Once you're used to that level, you will know when to bring it up a level and you could go over again in the next level. Hamstrings are a tiny bit more tricky. So you may want to sit perched on the edge and then you could go up and down like that because I want that muscle to be relaxed. So having the knee bent is fantastic. You can push in a little bit on the hamstrings because they will hang down. Um, shins, very important, a forgotten area. So I'm just going to show you that on bare skin, it is just fine to use. Okay, so coming down and up there through that shin. Now, of course, there are different heads. We're talking about recovery here. So this, I think, is the most appropriate one, but there are different shapes. There are smaller ones on the end, so you can get into tight areas. Now, that can be um, good for recovery, but that isn't what we're talking about here necessarily with that blood flow. Now, the calf, my calves, are always tight. So I'm bringing it down to the first level again here to go through the calf. Be careful 
of the nerves that run down the outside of the leg there and also down the front and be careful of the blood and um, the, uh, the bones. So if you go over the bone, I tend to find it just bounces a little bit. It doesn't tend to hurt very much, but you don't get a lot out. Now coming on to the upper body. Um, so everybody gets tight in the shoulders here, but also what I find is around the front of the chest. So around the front of the chest, scooping underneath the collarbone can be fantastic to get some nice relief and improve posture. Posture is one of the things that these massage guns can be so fantastic for, increasing the range of movement in your joints so that you can pull yourself up into a good posture. Now running down, of course, we're going to talk about these muscles at the top here. Now one thing that you can do is stay on one point and move your head. So you're actually staying with the vibration at one point and moving your head. Good. You can do it just as easily on the same side. So if it's awkward pulling across, because that does feel a little bit tight in that shoulder for me, if it's awkward reaching across, especially with this mini massage gun, it's quite easy to do it on the same side. You can hold it up at your fingertips, which gives you that um, ease of movement, ease of control through there. If you have enough flexibility coming over to the back, there. Now the back is possibly somewhere you're going to have to get somebody else to do that upper back, um, which is fine. These are ideal for your partner to do. It doesn't take a lot out of them to, to do a massage there. Now around the lower back, we should be able to reach around for. Now what I've been finding is that actually you can come over the SI joints. Your SI joints are just here, either side. So you can actually massage quite nicely. Let's hope you can see that. You can quite nicely massage over those bony prominences without pushing in. If you've got a soft head like this one, it's fine. I would avoid the spine and come over to the other side here. But this is lovely for release. Now you could ease forwards as you're doing it and then come back up and do the same on the other side. Good. Now the lats, anyone who does a lot of arm work will find that their lats get very tight. And again, you can work down through those, but you may actually want to hold it and reach. The head comes off really easily and the whole machine feels extremely robust for things like changing over the heads. We have a fork attachment here, which can be fantastic for the IT bands coming up and down there. I also found it fantastic on the shin as well because those ends are really lovely and pokey to get into those tight bits. This one also for the foot. There is on that note a small one which you can work beautifully in to the foot in the arch and the plantar fascia there as much as you like. Again, hold on one spot and then mobilize certain areas. This one I found extremely useful. My knee was feeling particularly tight to massage into only the fleshy bits on the lower levels. That can be just fantastic. And coming down through the end of the IT band to just release into your knee. Now we haven't talked so much um, about around the hip here and lots of people will find that those areas get particularly tight and the massage head that I found most useful is this small solid ball shape and so let me demonstrate let me hold for two seconds good and the best area the best position for these would be on the side and getting into that glute lead or the piriformis which is a, a, a little bit further back deep inside the glutes or the TFL, which is at the front, if you imagine your front pocket. Now this is a fantastic one to release, 
because tightness in there builds through the outside of the leg and can pull on the knee. So thank you for watching right through to the end guys and you will benefit because for the next 48 hours after this video is live you're going to get 20% off on the Pulse Roll website. The code is right down here and you just need to type that in at the checkout from Pulse Roll. You can get some perfect Christmas presents for those loved ones um, and even a little present for yourself perhaps with 20% off just in time for Christmas. Um, and just before I go, I just wanted to show you the other products. This one is fantastic, the, um, the Pulse Roll Vibrating Roller that you can do lots of your usual exercises on that you would do on the foam roller. Fantastic quality. Um, and the other one I have is the Peanut. Easy to travel with um, and lovely to lie on to release off around your upper back, the areas that you can't get to with these tools. Um, so fantastic thank you for joining me and watching through to the end um again my name's kim saha make sure you subscribe to my channel there are many workouts on there 10 minutes 15 minutes hits pilates and lots of physiotherapy advice it's a lovely community channel where everybody contributes so take care guys stay safe and have a lovely christmas bye